All right, so today we're going to be locating your sartorius, which is at the origin of the ASIS, which is up here below the patient's towel. And it inserts on the anterior medial surface of the tibial tuberosity, also in the pes and serinus area. So the sartorius is going to start from here, and it comes down at sort of an S shape across your thigh all the way down to the side of your knee and to the side of the tip of the tuberosity. So to find this muscle, it is one of the longest in the body, but the muscle belly is about two fingers wide, so it's kind of hard to find. So a little joke that we use is that since it's an S, like S for Superman, we say S is super hard to find for the sartorius. So to kind of get the idea of where your sartorius is, would you mind extending your leg as far as you can? All right. So starting here, you can see the indention right here of where the sartorius comes across and comes down. This is where we're gonna be trying to palpate your muscle through this little gap right here. All right, relax. So now what I'm gonna do is put your leg across here. Now I'm gonna put my hand on top of your knee. I want you to push this way, push up and flex your hip. So here we feel that right there. Now you just follow this down. Relax, and there's that belly right there, about two. You feel that? Mm -hmm. All right, and just follow this down, around the side of the knee, still feel that in there? Yes. It's in that gap. And you follow that all the way down, into here. You feel that still, side of your knee? Yes. And it comes across to the pes and serinus area, and connects to your tibial tuberosity. So again, just to make sure that we have it, again, extend your knee. All right, so start up here. There's that gap. And there's the muscle belly in there. You feel me pressing? Yes. All right. And keep following that all the way down as it makes that S shape. It goes from here, through the gap, pes and serinus area, starting at your ASIS, it connects right here. All right, well, that was your sartorius. All right, and so also one last thing to add about your sartorius is that your sartorius' muscle, uh, it uh, helps in flexion, abduction, and lateral rotation of your hip. And also down in the pes and serinus area, it also causes and helps with the flexion of your knee. So say if you were sitting and you wanted to take your knee out and flex it, Sartorius comes into play there. But the main action that most people know it as is the lateral abduction and rotation of your actual hip.